Hello, it's okay. I'm gonna do your lines now. Sorry, I'll be honest, I forgot. I've had so many people's lines to do recently. Um, but yeah, I'll do them now. Okay, I'm gonna assume it's Glen Rye. If you want me to redo all the bad pronunciations I have in this, then be my get you know, that's fine, but uh oh you know, it won't take so long to do the Yeah. I'm gonna go with Glen Rye. The stories of the Glen Rye Valley Heritage Railway. Yeah, we'll assume that's it. Oh, that's cool. I like narrating, that's fine. <sighs> Over rolling mountains and through thick green forests lies a railway. This railway runs from Glen Rye Valley along the fish number line number one. Messed up. Number one. Ah, uh, booger. Um over rolling mountains and through thick green forests lies a railway. This railway runs from Glen Rye Valley alongside a tramway up to Bowen Bells Junction. Oh, I should really read this. I read, I read it when you sent it to me. All these place names is difficult. This railway runs from Glen Rye Valley alongside a tramway up to Bowen Fells Junction, where two lovely branch lines break off. Lovely branch lines, as opposed to the horrible branch lines. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> this railway runs from the Glen Rye... <laughs> this railway runs from the Glen Rye Valley alongside a tramway up to Bowenfels Junction, where two lovely branch lines break off. Further down the main line is a small town called Esbank, which was still very... I am so sorry, which was still ever growing with the expansion of the line. Further down the main line is a small town called Esbank, which was the s oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I've got to get this right. I'm sorry. A lot of editing for you. Yes. <laughs> Further down the main line is a small town called Esbank, which was still ever growing with the expansion of the line. The line then continues across a spinning br spinning bridge. Ah, uh, I'm high. The line then continues across a spanning bridge, which is known as the Eskbank Viaduct, as it crosses a large marshland. Following on from the marsh is Zigzag Valley. This section of the line runs deep into the cuttings of Zigzag Cliffs, which is the home... Which is home. Yes. Um, well done. Following on from the marsh is Zigzag Valley. This section of the line runs deep into the cuttings of Zigzag Cliffs, which is home to a small narrow gauge railway. Once leaving the rocky plains, there is a small line... How many lines are there? Oh my god! This is bigger than Sodor! Once leaving the rocky plains, there is a small line leading to a castle. This castle was home to once a mighty king who ruled the valleys and forests, but is now a tourist attraction. I'll, I'll go through these like at the end as well, just to check. Then through Dunster Station, with a branch... Then, through Dunster Station, with a branch to Dunster Colliery, which supplies resources to the railway and its towns further... Oh, there's meant to be a full stop there. That's not my fault, that one. That's on you. Sorry. Then through the... Then through Dunster Station, with a branch to Dunster Colliery, which supplies resources to the railway and its towns. Following further down the line is MT Piping. Mount Piking? Piping? MT Piping? Please explain how you sound these words. <laughs> Following further down the line is empty piping, a large station built originally for World War II to supply munitions from its munitions factory. Then Lithgow, the once known end of the line, containing a yard. Large yard. Then Lithgow, which one? <sighs> then Lithgow, the once known end of the line. Then Lithgow, the once known end of the line containing a large yard and many platforms, with a ru with a branch running to Kandos. I can pronounce that one, it sounds like Nando's, but yeah, uh, sorry. <laughs> then then Lithgow, the once known... Oh my god, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce today. Five minutes already, oh, four. Then Lithgow, the once known end of the line containing a large yard and many platforms, with a branch running to Kandos. This line runs through sweeping... I got that right, why did I stop? This line runs through sweeping valleys and across beautiful blue rivers and lakes. Lithgow also has a running line to the power station, which sees constant trains running in and out of it. Continuing down the main line is Warrington Yards, used to store large amounts of freight, shipped in from countries far and wide, where the line curves staying double track open up to Glenberis is... Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry. These, these are just... Um... 
uh, punctuation mistakes, it's not me, where the line curve staying double track opens up to Glen Berris, the connection to the main line. Was, this is just a long sentence. All this narrating line is just one huge sentence. But I'm guessing it's not going to be like the intro, so it needs to sound good. So I'll probably redo these. Continuing down the main line is Warrington Yards, used to store large amounts of freight, shipped in from countries far and wide, where the line curves staying double track and opens up to Glen Berris, the connection to the main line, with six different entrances and having regular trains from King's Cross Paddington, Edinburgh and many more with large sheds and yards for shunting and a turntable for engines, a small goods shed and a work shed for the service engines. Now these... These are the stories of the Glenrye Heritage Valley Frail. <laughs> Why could I not say a word? Alright.